Tricolor Turf War in Splatoon 3 is flawed. There's no denying that the mode has its fair share of problems, and in my eyes, it could have been so much better. That being said, I still enjoy playing Tricolor on a casual level. Let's go over the issues with Tricolor, the things I love about it, and let's overhaul the mode to make it the staple of Splatoon 3's Splatfests. Because I love this game, and its Splatfests deserve to be better. Here we go! If you've played the April Force Splatfest at all, you'll quickly come to terms with one of the core issues with Tricolor Turf War, the matchmaking. Being a mode that requires all three Splatfest teams to partake in, if one team has insufficient members, then getting into a tricolor match is extremely difficult. I'm sure people on Team Nessie or Team Alien have got countless mirror matches, or in simpler terms, matches against your own team. This really affects the competitive side of this mode, and it's a bit of a fun killer for me personally, since you don't actually gain anything for winning in these matches. Another major issue with tricolor is to do with the attacking teams. The match is advertised as 4 on 2 on 2 but in reality, the two attacking teams are working together to win against the team of four. However, this is actually rarely shown off, and Nintendo don't advertise the mode to be like this. But it's clearly intended. I mean, why else does it say victory even if you lose to the other team of attackers? I've lost so many tricolor battles just because of the fact that people constantly want to commit friendly fire, and with how the mode is laid out, I don't exactly blame them. However, the biggest issue with this mode is how it's balanced. More often than not, the defending team has an unreasonable advantage over the attacking team. This is enhanced even further, since maps like Undertow Spillway and Mincebeam Metalworks are imbalanced design-wise. Limited approach options or angles that the teams can push from is a problem. And, the worst part, is that a lot of the defending team's wins come from spawn camping. Typically, the attacking strategy for Tricolor Turf War is to rush in over and over again when the defenders are down or distracted. This is good because it encourages the attackers to actually play aggressively, and every time the ultra signal is grabbed, the time to secure it is decreased to help both teams. So what's the solution if you're defending? Well, it's pretty simple. Lock the attackers out. And sadly, it's really easy to do this, especially when the two attacking teams cannot communicate at all. Some maps are designed in a way that spawn camping is easy, as you can see in this footage. And this is happening without communication between my teammates at all. So this means that attacking is really, really unfun because you're just getting spawn camped a lot. This means that the objective for Tricolor when you're defending is stupidly easy and really unfun for the enemy sometimes. What's the point of playing a limited edition mode that has a 50% chance of being fun if it barely gives you any clout for a victory? Sure, the points awarded for winning Tricolor were buffed recently, but it can be really painful to play this seriously for your team. What is the point of playing in a three-team turf war when it's only your team that's present for all of your matches. I'd rather go and play pro or open, where I can win 100 times battles and make a difference for the Slapfest, and get into the top 100 of players. But anyway, that's enough complaining, this has been very negative so far. So let's go over what we should keep about Tricolor. As much as I haven't been giving it credit, I really like Tricolor's concept. Having three teams face off in Splatoon 3 makes perfect sense, and I think it's a really cool concept. Modifying maps to change the gameplay up is also a must-have, and the Ultra Signals, while kinda flawed, turn the game mode from Turf War 2 into a fun, competitive casual hybrid. Ignoring the attacking and defending roles, I think we should keep everything about the mode itself the same. However, I will be changing one massive part of Tricolor Turf War. That being the 4v2v2 format. So let's go over that, shall we? Instead of the usual format with 4 attackers and 4 defenders, how about we do a 3 vs 3 vs 3 battle? Nintendo servers can handle that, right? Right? Yeah, I'm not exactly going to get my hopes up, but this is a hypothetical situation, so let's roll with it. I'd like to continue with the map design reworks, however, if this poses too much of an issue for Nintendo, we can bring back a beloved feature from a previous Splatoon game. Shifty stations were the big concept in Splatoon 2's Splatfests, and I think if Nintendo can't make regular stages work, why not design brand new stages for Tricolor? For those of you who aren't aware, Shifty Stations were a gimmick in Splatoon 2 where a new stage would be added every single Splatfest to the rotation, making the experience more unique every single time. The stages were always different, and later, in the final update for Splatoon 2, they even got names that could be replayed in private battles. Maybe for Tricolor, we could also have the same thing. This would keep people coming back to the mode for something fresh, and could also help the devs with making 3 on 3 on 3 maps. Doing the mode like this will also prevent the issue of friendly fire, and make the mode more balanced for everyone since there are no attacking or defending sides. If you want to keep the comeback factor that Tricolors have, maybe give the losing teams a slight time reduction for the Ultra Signal, or maybe increase their points for winning slightly. I'd still like to keep the Ultra Signal, since it's what defines Tricolor, and I don't want that to change particularly. Sadly, the mirror match issue will stay, since there is no way that I can really think 
curve to manage this fairly. However, I would like it if we could actually gain points for winning one of those things. I think that would be nice, even if it's decreased. But aside from that, I believe that these changes could change Tricolor from a flawed and underwhelming new game mode to a fun and frantic time. I don't hate Tricolor, I really don't, but its design could definitely be improved. And I think that these changes are exactly what it needs. Let me know what you thought of these changes in the comments below. And make sure to leave a like, since, you know, you made it to the end of the video. But, stupid YouTuber stuff aside, thank you very much for watching, and here's to hoping that Nintendo listens to this video. But they probably won't.